Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the sinusoidal response of RLC circuit. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Sinusoidal response of a RLC circuit. So let us consider the circuit RLC. Resistor, inductor and capacitor connected in series. That is excited by the sinusoidal voltage that is E of T equal to E M sin omega T. The switch is available, the switch is closed at T equal to 0. So this I of T is the transient current. We need to find the response of this transient current. So while applying the sin voltage, sinusoidal voltage, what is the response of RLC circuit that we need to identify. Consider the RLC circuit shown in diagram excited by the sinusoidal source. E of t equal to E m sin omega t when the switch is closed at t equal to 0. Let I of t be the current through the circuit. Let us assume that there is no stored charge before closing the switch. Right? So this RLC series circuit E m sin omega t is applied at t equal to 0. I of t is the current through the circuit. There is no charge in the so the circuit that is there are two storage elements available inductor and capacitor so there is no charge before closing the switch now we are going to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law for the given circuit Kirchhoff's voltage law is nothing but the applied voltage is equal to em sin omega is equal to voltage drop across resistor inductor and capacitor so that is a given by kvl otherwise voltage rise equal to voltage drop so the voltage drop across R is R into I of T. Inductor is L dA by dT. Capacitor is 1 by C integral I dT. That is equal to applied voltage Em sin omega T. Right. So this is the KVL equation we got from this equation. Now we need to take the Laplace transform then by inverse Laplace so that we can find the I of T. While taking Laplace this T domain converted into S domain. While taking inverse again S domain converted into T domain so that we can identify I of T. Now we will take the Laplace transform on both the side. So this is a given circuit is the given equation available. Take Laplace transform on both the side. So R is constant I of T. Laplace transform of I of T is I of S plus L is constant dA by dT. Laplace transform of dA by dT is S into I of S. Here initial charge will be there, but we assume that initial charge is 0. 1 by C is constant. Integral I dt is I of S divided by S. Differentiation S into I of S. Integral I of S divided by S. Em is constant. Sin omega t. Laplace transform of sin omega t is omega divided by S square plus omega square. Now we take in the Laplace transform on both the sides. Take this I of S common so that R plus L into S plus 1 by Cs. That is equal to omega Em divided by S square plus omega square. Now bring this term in the denominator that side. So I of S equal to omega Em divided by S square plus omega square into 1 divided by R plus Ls plus Cs. Now we will go for the further simplification. So we take the L and S outside, L and S outside so that we can bring in the form S square into S, the standard form, quadratic form. So L is also taken, 1 by S is also taken, L divided by S is taken outside. So here both the terms are not available, so multiplied by S by L. Here L is available, so that L is taken outside, but S is not available, so S square, it becomes S square. Here L is not available, so multiplied by 1 by L and S is available, so that is taken outside. So 1 divided by LC. If you multiply this inside, you will get the original term. So R into S by L plus S square plus 1 by LC. Right. So this, we can rewrite this. L by S, while going to in a numerator, it becomes S by L. Omega EM S by L divided by S square plus omega square into S square plus R by L S plus 1 by L C. So this is nothing but a quadratic equation. A X square 
plus bx plus c. x is nothing but s. a is here 1. b is r by l. c is 1 by lc. We will take this equation number 1. Right. The roots of this quadratic factor in the denominator may be real or complex. Hence, the following three cases are available. So, now we will need to analyze this quadratic equation. So, there are three cases. Roots are real and equal. Real and different. Roots are complex conjugate. Three cases are available. We will see the cases one by one. So, the case one is the roots are real and equal. Both the roots are real and equal. So, let us consider S square plus R by L S plus 1 by L C equal to S plus A the whole square. The root is A. Both are equal. S plus A into S plus A. Right? The two roots are available that is real and also equal. Where A is the root of the real root of the quadratic factor. So, based on that, now by partial expression technique, the equation can be, equation 1 can be expressed as i of s equal to omega e m s by l divided by s square plus omega square s square plus r by l s plus 1 by l c. So, this can be written as s plus a square. This term is now we consider as s plus a the whole square. Right. Now, that only the two terms now available in the denominator s square plus omega square into s plus a the whole square. So, by using the partial fraction technique, we can write this expression as k1 divided by s plus a, k2 divided by s plus a the whole square plus k3s plus k4 divided by s square plus omega square. While the partial expression technique, two or three methods available, this is one of the method plus s plus a the whole square is there. So, that we have two terms k1 and k2 s plus a s plus a the whole square. Here s square is available. So, here another two terms available k3 into s plus k4 right. So, we need to take the inverse Laplace on both the side in order to get the i of t right. So, you will taking inverse Laplace this k1 is constant 1 divided by s plus a is e power minus a t. The formula is there. 1 by 1 divided by s plus a is e power minus a t. This k2 is constant. s plus a the whole square means t into e power minus a t. When the power increases here t also increases. Cube means t square. 4 means t cube. Like that it will increase. Plus i m sin omega t plus or minus pi. The expression for it is directly written. We are not going for any solution. For this, the inverse Laplace is i m sin omega sin omega t plus or minus pi. So, this i m is the maximum value of the steady state current. So, this is the expression for transient current. For the case, roots are real and equal. k1 e power minus a t plus k2 t e power minus a t plus i m sin omega t plus or omega t plus or minus pi. i m is the maximum value. Now, we will see the second case. The roots are real and unequal. Two different roots. The two different roots are available. So, S square, let us consider S square plus R by L S plus 1 by L C is equal to S plus A into S plus B. Earlier, we have S plus A the whole square. Both the roots are A, but here different. S plus A, S plus B. One root is A, another root is B. So, the roots are real and unequal where a and b are the roots, real roots of the quadratic equation. Now, the equation 1, by using the partial expression technique, the equation 1 can be expressed as omega em, this is equation 1. This equation 1 is now expressed as, so this term is expressed as s plus a into s plus b, right. So, by partial differentiation technique, k1 divided by s plus a plus k2 divided by s plus b, right, here s plus a, s plus b, earlier s plus a, the whole square is there, but here only two terms, s plus a, s plus b, and this is same as the previous, k3s plus k4 divided by s square plus omega square, now we can take the inverse Laplace in order to find the transient current, so, take inverse Laplace on both the sides. So, that i of t equal to k1 is constant. 1 divided by s plus a is e power minus a t. 
plus k2 is constant 1 divided by s plus b is e power minus bt plus im sin omega t plus or minus pi this is very similar to the previous case im is the maximum value of steady state current right so here we have a1 k1 e power minus a t plus k2 e power minus b t plus im sin omega t plus or minus pi the second case real and different now we'll go to the third case the roots are complex conjugate right earlier two cases are real here now complex conjugate when the roots are complex conjugate the quadratic expression quadratic factor can be rearranged as s square plus r by l s plus 1 by l c equal to we can write in this like this s square plus r by l s plus r divided by 2 l the whole square plus 1 by l c minus r by 2 l the whole square so this is nothing but s plus a the whole square plus omega d square right so this is nothing but so this s s plus a a is nothing but r by 2 l r by 2 l is taken as a so that s plus a the whole square s square plus a square plus 2 s into a like that we can take so this term is taken as omega d right square root of 1 by l c minus r by 2 l the whole square is taken as omega d so it's a square root is there so here we have omega d square right so a and omega d we are having two times based on that this expression is simplified as s plus a the whole square plus omega d square right now we'll go for the now by partial expression technique the equation can one can be expressed right now we'll see how to simplify the equation one so this is the equation one now this quadratic equation is written as s plus a the whole square plus omega d square based on the complex conjugate so by partial differentiation we can split as k1 s plus k2 divided by s plus a the whole square plus omega d square i already told here square is there right so that we have k1 s plus k2 this time is very similar to the previous k3 s plus k4 divided by s square plus omega square so this time available in all three cases this is the term based on the complex conjugate now by taking the inverse laplace we can get i of t equal to i naught e power minus a t sin omega t plus theta so the laplace of this term is directly written it's not having any simplification this is very similar to previous case i m sin omega t plus or minus pi i m is the maximum value of steady current this is this is the current initial current i naught is the initial current so this is the expression for transient current when the roots are complex conjugate so in this video we discussed the sinusoidal response of rlc circuit we got the by using kvl the equation is written then after taking the lab plus we got the equation one in the standard form in order to solve we have three different cases we have quadratic equation we have based on that three different cases roots are real and equal roots are real and different roots are complex conjugate all three cases we simplified that by using partial fraction technique then by taking the inverse laplace we got the transient current i of 3 for all the three cases subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening